So today I'm obviously working in my circle journal and I'm going to be using this new digital art journal collage collection that I've created with these fabulous looking girls, these vintage girls. Now included in the kit or included on the sheet is the original photograph that I used to take them from. You've also got the grayscale version of the girls taken from the photograph. But you've also got the hand tinted couple as well as the separates and the final collage piece. Now I've sized this so that it will fit quite nicely in both large and small journals. So, And there is a selection of four um, quotes and phrases in three different font ways so that you can choose which one you like and use that one and save the others for later. Now if you wanted to create this collage combination on your own all of the individual pieces are also included in the kit for you to do that but if like me you're feeling a little bit lazy sometimes you've got the complete composite to work with too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my cute couple out and then I'm going to choose which sentiment I'm going to use or which phrase I'm going to use and then I'm going to cut that out also. So I will be right back after I've cut out these bits. Okay now before I go any further I want to just address a little bit of an issue that some people have left comments on my YouTube channel asking me um, asking me about. Now people keep saying to me you know you obviously use a laser printer when you're doing your art journal pages because none of your images seem to smudge when you apply the matte medium over the top and sometimes yes I do do use a laser printer and sometimes I use an inkjet printer and here's a photograph that I've printed off using an inkjet printer of, um, of, of a, a doggy you may have well seen. Um, now this is inkjet okay now to be able to use this in a collage or, or anything like that then yes the ink has been uh, that has been used is water-based. Now on some printers um, like Epson they use um, pigment or dye ink, I can't remember which way it is, anyway one of the inks on an Epson printer um, doesn't smudge when you add another wet medium over the top. Once it's dry it, it's kind of permanent but even if you haven't got an Epson printer um, there are things you can do to an inkjet print to make it um, compatible with art journaling and adding as collage um, by spraying with a fixative. Okay, now you can purchase a, sprixi a, fi a fixative, a sprixative, that's a new word. You can purchase a fixative and spray it. When I've used fixatives in the past, sometimes they have turned the paper translucent. Don't know why, it just soaks into the paper and sometimes makes it translucent. I've also found that using very cheap hairspray and spraying that over the top works really well to seal in providing you don't do um, go too close to it. If you do it from a distance of about six inches it usually works but and here's this is the 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 craft or the art hack if you like. Um, Tim Holtz has come out with a substance called microglaze. Now you can go over using that, it comes in a little tub, I haven't got any because I refuse to pay the price for something um, that I know what's in the pot and I'll show you what it is in a moment. Now you can use that microglaze and go over it with the microglaze with your finger and that kind of seals it in with um, a kind of non-porous coating over the top. Now I'm not saying that um, the microglaze it is anything other than some kind of chemical compound but there is something which which is almost a household item that you can use and that probably a lot of the ladies that are watching this probably have in the purses already and also maybe in the medical cabinets or if you know a blokes may have it in the car or whatever and it's simple it's just a chapstick this is a she butter moisturizing lip balm now these things are very, very, very inexpensive. And do you know what? It does exactly the same job as the Tim Holtz microglaze. Now, I know there's going to be probably lots of people out there 
slapping the foreheads going oh why didn't I think of that you can add you know pretty much as much of this onto it as you want to don't put a huge 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 amount on you only want to put enough on to cover the area that you're going to cut out and use in your collage and that and when you know when you've still got some left on your finger just rub it on your lips and, and that now you can see how there's that sheen over the top of it that will create a barrier so that you can add your matte medium over the top without any issues. Now I've done that quite a lot and I've not had any problems at all and once you've actually gone in and cut it out and stuck it down then you can colour over it with your um, with your inks or your India inks and that kind of stuff as you would normally. So that is an alternative to the Tim Holtz micro glaze that probably costs well I know this is more um, affordable than buying big tubs or tubs of that micro glaze to use. So there you go there's my little hint use a chapstick. Okay on the page I've got my girls out I'm going to get started. So I'm going to begin with this burnt sienna acrylic paint from Reeves. I'm just going to mix it with a little bit of water on my craft mat and randomly paint it across the circle journal page. Because I don't want to mix any of the paint with any of the colours that I'm going to put on in a second, I'm going to dry it with a heat gun before moving on to my next layer. So the next colour I'm going to use is the Cadmium Yellow Deep Acrylic Paint, again from Reeves. I'm just mixing that with a little bit of water and then I'm just going to again apply that randomly across the Circle Journal page. Now that I'm happy with the yellow coverage, I'm going to just use a little bit more of that paint that's on the craft mat and just randomly add that to the page too. I'm now going to leave that to dry for a few minutes. Now it's dry, I'm going to take this three-ply paper napkin that I purchased from a local supermarket. It was very inexpensive in a pack of 20 and it just features a beautiful kind of bluebell pattern and with the matte medium from Mod Podge, I'm just going to apply that uh, onto my page and in case you hadn't spotted I have removed the top ply which is the one that's been printed from the base two layers. I'm happy it's all stuck down there's no bumps and wrinkles in it so and I don't want to be working on a wet surface so I'm just going to dry that off before adding on a second piece of that napkin. So I'm just cutting the piece out that I want to use with a pair of scissors, just slightly off camera there, and I'm just going to position where I want it to be on the page before I stick it down. And before I move on to the next stage I want to make sure it's all nice and dry because there's no point working on a wet surface so I'm just going to give it a quick blast and then we can move on. When it's all nice and dry I'm just going to flip the journal page over and then just trim off the excess around the edges with a pair of scissors. So it's now time to stick down my two little friends but I've just noticed that I haven't cut out the 
gap between their coat and the hands. So I'm just trimming that out now with a craft knife and then we'll be right on track. And just to hide any white areas that I may have missed, I'm just going to grab this pink distress marker and I'm just going to go around the edges to disguise those. Now we're ready to stick down. When sticking down a fairly large collage item like this I tend to work from the inside out so you'll see me putting my brush down in the middle and then brushing outwards to make sure there's no bubbles and no wrinkles. So time to give it a little bit of a heat dry and then we can add on some more decoration. Now this is the Brilliant Red Acrylic Paint from Reeves and I've just taken a sponge, it's just a cosmetic sponge and this is the Circles 12 by 12 stencil from Clear Scraps. And I'm just going to add some red circles randomly around the page. So when I chose my colour palette for this page I did look at the colours that were in the actual collage image itself. So the red complements the red on the left little girl's coat and in some of the colours in her little hat. And now just to take the edge off those red circles I'm going to add some titanium white from Reeves again and a sponge and I'm just going to dry off the red dots first and then I'm going to reapply the white paint just around the edges of the dots or the circles using the same stencil again. So I'm going to bring the stencil back in again and you'll see that I'm just going to lay it back in the same position and then just slightly move it so it's a little bit offset and that's where I'm going to apply the paint. So while that's drying I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up, a little bit of a clean up on my craft mat and then just give it a quick blast with a heat tool before bringing in my final colour for the main page. My final colour is going to be the Cerulean Blue Hue Acrylic Paint again from Reeves and I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Dot Fade Stencil and I'm just going to add some blue highlights around the page which complements the colours in um, the butterflies, the butterfly wings, there's also some blue colour there as well and also some blue highlights in the little girl's hats. And while I've still got some white paint on my craft mat, I'm just going to mix some water in with that and just add some little white splatters randomly around the page. Now it's time to add one of the four quotes from the, the DigiKit and for me I've gone with this one which is the we all need someone to share in our weirdness. And once again I need to make sure that my page is completely dry before adding anything else to it so I'm just going to give it a quick heat blast and then bring out my Signo White Opaque Rollerball Pen and then I'm going to add some random journaling around the page. And of course your random scribbles don't have to be legible, only you really need to know what they say so you can pretty much add anything you want to this page.
So I'm done with the white, time to bring in the black. This is the food ball pen from OHTO distributed by Ranger and I'm just going to add some black random sketchy lines around my word blocks and then I'm going to outline my two little girls. At this point I'm just stepping back and looking at it and thinking what else does it need and I thought mm, a border. So I'm bringing up my potting soil archival ink and a blending foam and I'm just going to go around the outside border bringing in a little bit of a darkness just to create that nice frame around the edge of the page. So I'm happy with the way the page has turned out, but it's missing just one thing. You can't go wrong with adding a butterfly. And then to finish off, I'm just going to bring back the food ball pen and add in the butterfly's antenna. And then I'm just going to sign and date it. And this page is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this art journal page come together. And if you want to see more art journal digikits like the one I've featured in this video, then you can find those on my website too. And if you have enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking this button here. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.